Morning guys, happy Easter. It is Easter Monday today. I was supposed to be competing yesterday, but it got postponed until today. So it's a beautiful sunny day up there. So I am looking forward to going to the yard, getting Nancy ready to head over to our second ever show. <laughs> Exciting. You can see I'm all show ready, ready to go. I've got my joggers over the top of my white tights so they don't get dirty. It is seven o'clock. No, it's not. The clocks have changed. These all need to be amended. <laughs> uh, it's eight o'clock. We don't need to leave till about quarter past ten because my first class isn't until twelve. So we've got a bit of time this morning, which is great. Dad's going to come and pick Nancy and I up from the yard with Rob as well. Um, and then, yeah, we'll get on our way. So let's hope today is going to be a good day fingers crossed Hello guys, Future Taylor here, just editing the video for you and I wanted to do a voiceover to talk you through. So you will have heard I just said I can relax now. Nancy definitely had ants in her pants. <laughs> um, it was the first trip going anywhere on our own. Obviously last time we went with somebody else from the yard. So I think she was a little bit more relaxed. Um, we still had a bit of fidgeting by the trailer getting ready. But today, oh my goodness, I could barely even get her bridle done up. Because she just would not stand still. Um, and then getting on, that was a huge mission. Because the mountain block was fixed to the floor. So we couldn't move it and I couldn't get on. Um, obviously dad and Rob are trying to help me as much as they can. But they're not horsey. They don't know Nancy that well and she can be a bit of a monkey um put it in the nicest way so that was a mission so once I was on I felt like right okay let's just not get off <laughs> for the rest of the day and we can focus so we didn't have loads of time to warm up but I just let her have a nice walk around she felt quite relaxed um we popped a few jumps and this was the final jump I think before we actually went into our first class so there we are just outside the main arena they look like lovely photos but in reality nancy was barely standing still for a second she was dancing around um, and today was the day she decided rearing was going to be um, the new introduction of her fortune of books of things that she likes to do so thankfully they wasn't huge great big scary rears they was more just sort of little bounces and spins but it wasn't great and it was quite dangerous but we was allowed we was first into the 80 centimeter class we was allowed in and we thankfully got to have a nice walk around the edge so she got to see the speakers the banners have a good look at everything before we got started which i was so grateful for and I literally couldn't have planned that any better. That was just what we needed, just to have a go and look around, because it's our first time ever competing at this venue. Um, and it's quite a big arena, so she's quite far away from the other horses, which actually doesn't seem to bother her. Once she's in that ring, she kind of knows that there's a job to do. But it was so lovely to be able to walk her right round the edge, for me to have a good look at everything as well, um, before we got going. So the bell's just gone there and you've obviously got a certain amount of time before you've got to jump the first jump so I knew I needed to, to push her on because we was the complete opposite side of the arena to where number one was. Go on Ty. Okay, she's in a nice ribbon, she has a little call. But we're just coming round and make sure I took it nice and wide with our turns, let her have a good look. go just jump that one nice straight through into number two and we just landed on the wrong leg there so i don't know if you can really see but i just asked her to come back to trot for a stride so i could level her back out get her on the right leg and start again there we are round to number three and this was such a confidence given round she was so lovely and rideable looking at everything she was keen going forward but really rideable she was allowing me to have a say in the pace and say where we was going a little bit wobbly legs there 
and just get a little bit deep to that one which throws our stride off here but I knew I wanted to go inside of number three because we're actually timed from number six so the first red fence on that double so here I just pushed her on a little bit but I wasn't worried about the time again it's just a training round more than anything um, but what a super round that was so lovely she come a bit quick to them barriers there so I was a bit worried um, but what a super round that was lovely it was so confidence giving um, and despite her little tantrums waiting outside to go in I was so proud of that I felt really confident and such a lovely round you can see she's just so keen and alert. She absolutely loves her jumping, which is so brilliant. And it's such a nice feeling when they're enjoying it too. You can see she's given them plenty of air. Typical Nancy style. No scope, no hope, as they say. Nancy does that to true fashion. <laughs> and then, then this happens. <laughs> So this was Nancy's default of the day. Um, we was actually just here waiting to go in for the prize giving because we got pulled in. So we actually got second place. So I come here and we know standing still isn't ideal. So we got kept nice and far away from the others. She was absolutely fine taking the rosette. And then because it's an Easter show, we was about to get given Easter eggs. Nope, she didn't want that and that just set her off. That just spiraled and then yeah, this. I was so embarrassed. I felt so sorry for those poor other ponies. That was so uncalled for. Um, and when she's like that, there's, there's not really much I can do because the more I put my leg on, she just flies backwards. I'm obviously giving her a loose rein to try and get her to go forward. And it's like something just ticks in her brain. And once she's gone, that's it. And you can see like the way she sort of she's not rearing properly but she goes up and then kind of bounces and spins to the side um and that's obviously not ideal when you're in an environment where there's lots of people and other horses around once she's going forward she's fine it's purely the standing still and anything where there's people around she seems to get herself in a little bit of a tiz um so yes that was not ideal and something we definitely need to work on but she doesn't do anything like that at home so I, uh, any tips or advice on that one guys I said in my last video I think it was just because of being a racehorse and going from you know, the other they don't way. really stand still too much other than in a start box so I don't know if it's to do with that but this is where she sort of flipped her switch you'll see here she bounces like a kangaroo shoots me up into the air um, I'll put a picture in a second but I literally nearly got launched to the sky out of the saddle and I just knew from this instance we didn't have long at all to go in and jump much more before our next class and I just knew here she was going to be a monkey because she knew what she was there to do now and again typical Nancy style there you go shooting me up into the sky um, typical Nancy style she thinks she knows best and then the minute I try and say no actually let's do it this way or let's calm down no I know what I'm doing don't tell me what to do mum I've got this and it's such a fine line because you've either got to say no actually we are going to do it like this or sit quiet try and go with her and keep her on your side because the minute you start arguing with her you've lost you've got no hope but she felt quite confident once we went back in the ring. So this is now the 90 centimetre class. She felt quite nice coming around here. She wasn't sort of pulling me or anything. She come in nicely. And this is the biggest class we've ever done. It's our first ever time out show jumping. And here I could feel her starting to pull me a bit. So I just checked her a little bit and I asked her to come back. You know, this part isn't timed. And we sadly got that one down. Then she lost her head a little bit because it went down. She was too busy arguing with me. Got that one down as well. And you can see here, just throwing her head around. Thankfully, we didn't have any more down. But you can see the whole rhythm has just completely changed. And I just thought, sod it. You know, we've got two down, not going to win. So this is now timed from that first part of the double. So I pushed her. I let her go. That's what she wanted to do. And time-wise, oh my goodness, she flew. And she actually jumped so much better going that bit quicker because I wasn't on her case. And that last part we got clear. 
I think we've done it in 14 point something seconds. Our first round where we had that lovely rhythm was 17 point something seconds. So time wise, we can win. But getting Nancy on my side and working well done, with me, and I was so disappointed. I was really gutted about that because the first round was so lovely. Um, yeah, I, I felt really gutted by that actually because there was just no need. If we wasn't arguing with each other, if she'd just listened when I asked her to slow down and look a little bit, or equally if I'd just gone with the rhythm that we was in rather than trying to check her, I think we would have gone clear again, but it's all learning, that's what this is all about, you know, we wasn't there to win or try and actually compete or anything like that, it's a training day, it's for fun, um, and we was actually called in again for prize giving, so our time clearly paid us well, even though we had the two down for eight volts, but you can see again she just doesn't want to stand still at all. Um, we were just waiting for the other guys to come in, but I wanted to sort of get her away from the others and just try and get her in there, try and get her to stand still. There's absolutely no reason for it. It's not like a huge, bustling, busy environment with loads of people around while she's in that arena. So I don't understand why she doesn't want to stand still. I was being super calm. I wasn't sort of getting angry with her or, you know, trying to tell her off or anything like that. I was just trying to sit still, calm, not get on her case. There's no need for her to be like that, but yeah, this is something that definitely needs some work. Um, as I say, we did actually get called in for the prize giving. The other horses were up the other end, but I was trying to keep you well out of the way. Uh, we got a third on that one, so we've still done quite well, and I'm chuffed to bits that our first two ever shows we've come away with rosettes from both the classes that we've done, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, but today I felt like it was definitely a training day. <laughs> So the lady was about to come and give us our rosette and Easter eggs and she was actually like, no, I'll, I'll steer clear of Nancy, thank you, and went and gave them to Dad. But I mean, look at her. You can see she's absolutely flying. This is the 90 centimetres and height-wise, she's not close to him. She's not touching it. Keen as a bean. But yeah, behaviour, we need a bit more work. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it and I shall see you again soon. So how are we feeling, Taylor, with a second place out of nine? Yeah. And then a third place, two little faults. I know, gutted about them, but... But fastest the on the thing. Yeah. yeah, one on time, so we know we can do it. We've yeah. just got to gain some control. And... She's a big girl, she can pick them lazy legs up. I know. Well, it's because she was too busy fighting me. Yeah. If she listened to me... I suppose that's, that goes for all of us, hey, Rob? Yes. Yeah, so you listen to me and nothing can go wrong. Yeah, but what do we get out of it? An Easter egg, sod that. Oh, it's a small jump. <laughs>